Hey guys, Mars Ningen here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so the Christmas Dokkan Festival banner is now out. Um, it is, as far as I can tell, exactly the same as it was on JP. As we talked about in the news update last night, uh, the Blue Boys are on it. And then it is the return of the fusions from the five year anniversary. And the GoBros are on there. <laughs> Krillin is a featured unit again as well. Um, but yeah, so discounted steps. Uh, step 1 to 3 are only 40 stones each instead of 50. So 120 for the first three, and then the fourth one is free. Um, unless you are a newer player or someone who can really benefit from the step ups uh, for New Year, and that's what you're saving for, I would probably recommend that you at least do these. Because um, like 120 stones for four multis is pretty good. And then of course you get tickets as well. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be like the standard way ticket banners are now where you only get three tickets per multi So obviously if you only do the three discount ones, you're only going to have nine uh, Which won't be enough for a multi. You'll have to do a bunch of singles um, But you never know you might get something and it is free and then of course we found out the Christmas surprise packs are the pilaf trove thing um, so pack one gets you four of just the normal tickets so even if you just buy this one that helps even out the tickets that you would get from those first three steps. Um, then you got step two, gives you seven. Uh, there's a couple of other little bonus goodies in there as well, which are all right. And then the premium pack is the one that we talked about as well in the news update, similar to what they did last year, uh, where you get a multi with a guaranteed featured at the end, and you are able to buy this one twice. The other two can only be purchased once. So we have a quick look i have picked them all up already um so yeah the first one's like four dollars uh and then the next one's 10 and then the others are 30 so i mean even if you're um, obviously if you're free to play you don't buy anything but i would say getting the one for a couple of dollars and then doing the three discounted steps that will then give you enough tickets to do a free multi again um i would say that's pretty good so it's like 120 stones four dollars and you get five multis which is it's pretty decent um so we are going to go ahead and jump in here um, let's actually look at the featured units i probably should have done that first but i'm going to assume it's the same as jp and um, so we got our blue boys krillin the lr fusions gobros trunks zamasu geo blue rose i mean so the fact that the 120 leaders are on here is obviously for some people this will be pretty good because they haven't they don't, they don't come around on banners very often um in fact it's not even all of them <laughs> um so that's interesting super 17 kid boo and then these two um obviously these two will be getting their easy a at some point hasn't happened on jp yet kid boo we know is coming at some point and obviously super 17 has his already um so there are a lot of featured units which is bad because obviously you know if even if you buy like the premium tickets you do your multi summon you get a guaranteed featured ssr you could get this <laughs> or uh or this guy <laughs> So it's definitely a bit risky for this banner. But then again, I think I mentioned this in the news update one. They did this exact same thing last year. And uh, there was only one premium ticket pack available. And um, I got the my first copy of LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So who knows? Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to do the discount multis first. Then we'll use the tickets and then we'll finish off with the two premium ticket multis. And see if we can get something uh, something lucky here. Because, like, even if I did the premium tickets first and actually pulled, like, two LRs that I really wanted, I'd, I'd still do the discount steps. Because I think I see the value in doing them. So, we're going to jump in, do these discount multis. Uh, and then we'll grab our tickets from the uh, gift thing and see how that goes. So... Pretty sure Beerus on this banner doesn't do anything. Like, can you get... I don't think you can get a Whis or any uh, Goku Black Rift or Zeno on this banner because there is no new unit. Um, so Beerus flying in doesn't really do anything. Uh, so we go Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> Great, Fasha, okay. Random bonus SSR. Don't need it, but we take those. Um... I feel like this is the kind of banner, though, with so many featured units and the fact that it has LRs on it as well. Um, I feel like this is that one of those examples of a banner where if you don't get some sort of special animation, you're probably not getting anything. So, yeah, three. Okay. 
Of course, the only annoying thing for people like me, we've talked about this on stream and stuff before, I like having an even number of red coins, and the fact that you get uh, an off number by doing the discounted steps uh, means that we are going to probably have to do a couple of singles at some point just to even it out, but probably not on this banner. Um, so we had Goku, uh, we had Vegeta and Beerus fly in, both of the... Uh, both like single unit potential for animations although like I say I guess Beerus isn't but we didn't even go Super Saiyan so no fusion with Vegeta um, I have this horrible feeling that these multis are this is going to be one of those uh, summoning videos where it's like a good example of why you shouldn't summon on this banner even if it is just for the discounted steps because uh, so far we have pulled three SSRs none of which are useful to me but then I guess that is a uh, that's kind of a hashtag whale problems kind of thing. So, come on, what can we get on the last one? Gohan, Gohan and seventeen. Uh, not, not a combo. <laughs> so, come on, can we get something? Well, Super Saiyan one. Oof, maybe not. Maybe we, uh, maybe we have to rely on some of that free moly luck, which has uh, has definitely come in for us in the past. So. I mean, you never know, though. I mean, it's, it's 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 rare, but it's happened in the past where we've pulled, like, something really good off of, like, just Yamcha flying in and then Super Saiyan 1. So, this Gohud's pretty good. Pulled him a couple of times off of the LR banner, though. So, I'm pretty sure I don't need any extra copies of him. I think I'm actually, like, feeding dupes into just the SSR version at the moment. So, let's go ahead and fire off this uh, free multi. See if we can get something nice and lucky on the free one. Oh, Yamcha and Fat Boo. Well, let's go. <laughs> and we're not going to go Super Saiyan. All right. Uh, can we get a double screen crack, maybe? Game? No. <laughs> All right. So, probably not going to get anything too crazy here. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. So... The fact that these are going so badly doesn't make me uh, all too optimistic about the luck for our uh, guaranteed featured multis, but I guess we will uh, guess we'll find out. Oh, I will take this actually though. This is the uh, Awakens into the Trunks and Mai. Came out of the anniversary as the counterpart to the uh, Bardock and Gine. I actually do need, I think I need needed one last copy of them. So that's actually not too bad. I'll, t I'll take that. But let's go ahead and grab our tickets here. See how many we've ended up with in total. We get nine off of that. Did I have? I think I'm. Did I have eleven? I did. Awesome. So that gives us two full multi. So if you've bought both of the ticket packs that give you the normal tickets, and then you do the discount multis, you end up with enough to do two ticket multis. So that's actually pretty decent. Because it's what like fourteen dollars to get the two cheaper ticket packs. Oh, Goku and Krillin. Okay. Corn tickets. This is where. Uh, <laughs> this is where we need some of the luck to come in. So we're staying base. So this is going to be double screen crack, maybe? No. All right. <laughs> Although, actually, I guess Goku and Krillin, unfortunately, is one of those animations that can be three SSRs. So the fact that we started off with a uh, random Hellfighter 17 doesn't exactly fill me with confidence here. Yeah, Super Saiyan Goku. So it looks like we're getting three three duff SSRs. That is a shame. <laughs> uh, you. Yeah, okay. Oof. Oof. This has not been a... Uh, it's not been the best. Maybe maybe the luck is all being saved for the uh, guaranteed features. But, oh, Trunks carrying my. Okay. Here we go. Come on. This is where we want to see something good. Super Saiyan 3. Oh, God. Okay. So, God and Trunks carrying my. Hmm. I don't know if I've seen that combo in, uh, in quite a while, if at all. I don't think... Oh, yes! Okay. Okay, I was going to say, I don't know if Trunks and my can be a, uh... Three SSRs. I'm pretty sure that means guaranteed either Dokon Fest or LR. But then this banner is weird, so because it has Dokon Fest LRs and Dokon Fest units. So uh, there you go. So we got a Vegito. I, uh, I I need more copies of Gogeta than I do of Vegito, but I'm certainly not going to complain because uh, 
at least we got we got something that we wanted and we got a random turles and then we got the uh the king of forgotten ssrs the uh super saiyan two trunks that still doesn't have an awakening oh okay apparently we're just gonna get a ton of ssrs in this mo <gasps> no oh okay let's go uh well and that isn't the last one either are you kidding me what is oh my god what is this multi summon i'm uh this completely makes up for the, uh, <laughs> this completely makes up for all of the previous multis. Um, wow, okay. Um, let's, uh, let's take a screenshot of that. <laughs> so, um, damn. Trunks carrying my, uh, Godku into how many SSRs in total? Five? And two of them were the LRs? Okay. Uh, yeah, that kind of turned around a little bit, didn't it? Um, well, I guess we'll go ahead and do these. Now, I guess there's no uh, no real pressure on uh, what we're expecting to get. But if we could get another Gogeta, that would uh, even our boys out at three dupes each. So, Whis is here, which again, as far as I know, means nothing. So, these tickets are guaranteed featured, but we didn't get an animation that means a featured unit so that's interesting um i don't know what that means exactly but double screen crack i guess yeah now on this kind of banner again this is just me showing my uh, complete lack of knowledge of the these things on different banners but double screen crack because the banner has dokon fest units on it is does that just mean guaranteed dokon fest because obviously uh there's quite a few Dokon Festival units on this banner that we don't really want. So, <laughs> let's see uh, see what we're getting here. It's going to make me wait, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. Okay, yeah, physical Goku Black. Oof. So, yeah, definitely, uh, these. this is the risk with those ticket packs. So obviously, if you are a whale, um, you're probably going to pick them up because it's just more chance to get summons without using stones. Because, obviously, I probably will pick up all the sails as well and then just save them for whatever is coming next. The step-up banner is not really of any use to me. Um, but, yeah, definitely, like, for example, out of the two premium ticket packs that you can buy, that one was definitely not worth it to get a physical Goku Black. But unfortunately, that is the risk you take because, you know, it could have been one of the LRs. Uh, that's just how it goes. So let's see. We got Goku, uh, Gohan and Piccolo. Doesn't really mean anything because we know we're getting something here. Uh, oh, got a Zamasu. Unfortunately, he is rainbow for me. And Super 17 as well. Okay, like, te so technically, this is the problem. Wow, are you kidding me? What is this boy? Like, this is technically really good, but I can't use any of these units. <laughs> uh, physical Ribrienne, okay. <laughs> oh, that was a uh, an interesting succession of... Hey, that's actually my first Krillin as well. And he's the guaranteed... Well, okay, that's actually really good, because technically that means on this Moe. So Krillin is the guaranteed featured from the actual premium tickets. And then we got Zamasu, Super 17, and Kid Buu. The three, like, first main featured extreme units. So, technically, that is a really good Moe. I just can't use any of these units. I have a spare Kid Buu ready for when he easy A's. I don't know if he's SA5 already or not, so I guess I might be able to use that one. But I will take the Krillin. So, overall... Um, I mean, for me, I'm, I guess I'm a little bit biased in the sense that just because we pulled both the fusions, I would say it was worth it. But we obviously got them before the premium tickets. So in terms of the two premium ticket packs, I don't know if they were necessarily worth it because the only thing we got that was useful out of those was the Krillin. But I mean, that multi with the Vegito and Gogeta, that was, uh, that was pretty spicy. So... Yeah, there you go. I mean, like I say, I would recommend doing the discounted steps and then using the tickets. Uh, even, like I say, if you just want to pick up, like, the $4 pack just to even out your tickets. So you can do a multi, because obviously the multi with the 10 tickets is GSSR. Whereas the uh, if you just have 9 tickets and do 9 singles, you could just end up pulling, like, 9 R's or SR's. Which, for the sake of, like, a couple of dollars, get that guaranteed SSR in the end there for a multi. But... 
I leave that up to you guys to decide. So if you are going to jump in and summon, good luck to you. Obviously, with the return of the uh, Blue Boys, they are now available in the shop. Sorry, not the uh, the Blue Boys, the Blue Fusions. Uh, Blue Boys won't be in here. Because technically, I guess, you could say, like, technically this is them returning on a banner after their first banner. But, yeah, so the Fusions are in there. Go Bros. Um, I don't think I'm going to summon any more on this banner. So my original plan was to buy a Gogeta, which I might still do. Um, and then it puts both the fusions to 90% for me. Um, but I don't like... Once I've got two dupes of a unit and I can use all their abilities and give them gold skill orbs, I'm a little bit hesitant to buy uh, copies of them with coins because so far every single unit I've bought with red coins, the next time they've come back on a banner, I've pulled like four copies of them. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But let me know what you guys think down below. If you do summon, good luck. Let us know what you pulled in the comments. And yeah, I guess I'm going to get on to uh, doing some SBR videos now before I have to go to work. I'm going to try and get at least two of them put up today. So Merry Christmas and uh, good luck if you are summoning. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the link to my Discord in the description. Feel free to join in the fun over there. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.